In tonight's Sports Overtime Rewind, we spotlight the 2003 Lynn Camp Wildcats. The Wildcats sported a 9-5 overall record and won the school's first ever region title against a powerhouse that was all too familiar with the region final stage. Nobody but nobody would have thought that Lynn Camp and Pikeville would have been knocking on the state semifinal Class A door. Heading into October, Pikeville was just 1-4, but it played an unbelievably tough schedule. In fact, their first five opponents all made the playoffs. Lynn Camp was a little better at 3-4, and four, but also had not yet played their best football. Tonight, the Wildcats hosted the school's first region championship game ever. On paper, this game shouldn't have been close. Lynn Camp making its first ever appearance in the region final, while the Pikeville Panthers were all too familiar with the big stage, having played in five of the previous six region championship games. Like I said, on paper, advantage Pikeville. And the Panthers jumped out to the early lead off a pass and catch by Eric Sword to Brett Gibson. Six nothing Panthers. Lynn Camp answered with a huge play. Jesse Chafin to Andrew Jackson on the halfback pass, tied up at six apiece. Get used to hearing Chafin's name. The Wildcats rushed for a total of 2,604 yards in 2003. And while Dusty Brock led the team in rushing with 1,094 yards and 15 touchdowns in the regular season, Chafin was the big name in this one. Pikeville had a 21-6 lead before he scored on the running back sweep. 21-14 at the halftime break. And then Chafin again tied it up at 21 on yet another run. This one would need overtime to be decided, but the campers edge out Pikeville 35-28. Brian Milam, take it away. As we go to the scoreboard, and in overtime, Lynn Camp, the first region championship ever for the happy campers, and they are having a huge party at the brand new school, the brand new field, just a couple of years old. Congratulations to Lynn Camp. Pikeville loses the Class A region championship for the first time since 98. Great season on their part. Great season for Lynn Camp. They are moving on to play Beachwood in the state semifinals. Who would have thunk it, huh? Who would have thunk it is right. In the season before, Lynn Camp went just four and six without a playoff appearance. Jump back to 2003, they were primed for a date with Beachwood in the Class A state semifinals. The Tigers bested Lynn Camp 45-12, but for the Wildcats, the 2003 season was filled with milestones that have yet to be touched by any other Lynn Camp squad. The Wildcats have not reached the region championship game since that overtime win over Pikeville in 03. Fun fact about Lynn Camp, though, is they still have not yet won a district title.